Kylian Mbappe's next career move might just make or break his career. The 24-year-old French superstar has already collected so many accolades. But which career move will finally win him the Champions League? And can he go on to ever win the Ballon d'Or? Whilst in Ligue 1, first with AS Monaco and then with PSG, Mbappe has won almost every major honour available to him. The only major trophy yet to enter his cabinet is the big one, the Champions League trophy. However, his desperation to win it may just be his undoing. He finds himself currently at a crossroad where his next action could decide his legacy in football. On May 21st, 2022, Mbappe shocked the world. Nearing the end of his PSG contract, he was flirting with Real Madrid for months and the move seemed inevitable. However, he decided to make a surprise U-turn and extend his PSG contract. The saga seemed like it was over. However, it was far from over. The terms of his new contract seemingly gave him control over who the club were able to sign. However, reports of Mbappe feeling betrayed quickly emerged. He wanted the club to sign a strike partner for him to play alongside to replicate his partnership with Olivier Giroud for the French national team. No such striker was signed. The season ended with yet more Champions League heartbreak. PSG were eliminated by eventual champions Real Madrid. The loss was a sucker punch to Mbappe, seeing the club he rejected go on to win the trophy he desires most. The 2022-23 season yielded similar results. A second consecutive round of 16 exit in the UCL compounded Mbappe's unrest at PSG. After the season concluded, Mbappe sent a letter to PSG informing them of his intentions to leave. This angered the club. The owner, Nasser Al Khalifi, issued Mbappe with an ultimatum, leave now or sign a new contract. PSG were not ready to let their star player leave for free. Mbappe seemingly won Real Madrid. However, after the huge 100 million euro summer signing of Jude Bellingham, Madrid might not currently have the funds to outright buy Mbappe this summer. This ultimatum leaves Mbappe with three options. Sign again with PSG, leave PSG this summer to one of the few clubs that could afford him, or he could ignore PSG's ultimatum and leave for Madrid for free next summer. The first option available to Mbappe is to put pen to paper and sign a new PSG contract. This would allow him to stay at the club where he has spent the majority of his professional career. This move, however, would come with massive consequences for Mbappe. At 24 years old, Mbappe is entering the prime of his career. By signing a long-term contract, he will be signing away his best years to a club that is entering a rebuild and a period of uncertainty. This move will almost definitely end his chances of winning the UCL title. In my opinion, this is a move Mbappe should not consider taking. Next, we have the most likely outcome. Mbappe starts a new chapter at the Santiago Bernabeu. Real Madrid are all conquering in Europe, having won 14 UCL titles, by far the most in the competition's history. By joining Madrid, he best positions himself for winning the Champions League. If he is able to fire Madrid to another European title, the Ballon d'Or would surely be his for the taking, cementing his legacy as a football legend. However, there are problems that complicate the chances of his move materializing. Real Madrid are best positioned to sign it for free next summer, but PSG will do all in their power to make this impossible. PSG will likely accept offers from other clubs if they are received, and could try making Mbappe's position at a club as uncomfortable as possible to ensure he leaves for a fee. It's certainly possible Madrid move for him this summer, as Florentino Perez is no stranger to lying about the club's resources. Last time Madrid moved for Mbappe, the bids reached nearly 200 million euros. This came just months after Florentino Perez declared Madrid's finances as unstable and called for the creation of the Super League. The move to Madrid seems most beneficial for Mbappe on an individual level and is probably the move he should accept if it is deemed possible. Finally, we have the wildcard option. Mbappe joining a Premier League club. From a spectator's perspective, this one feels like the dream. Mbappe vs Haaland, the new generation's version of Messi vs Ronaldo. Battling it out in the Premier League, the big downside to this move is that it's hard to see which club he goes to. Chelsea have the funds, 
but with no European football next season, it would be impossible to convince Mbappe. Liverpool have wanted him for years now, but it's hard to see him accepting a year in the Europa League. It is rumoured that Mbappe admires what Mikel Arteta is building at Arsenal, and it would certainly be an entertaining move if it happens. However, Arsenal have already spent big and may not have the necessary funds to sign the French superstar. Even if Arsenal did have the funds, they have historically never impressed in Europe. It could be another move that condemns him to never get in his hands on the big ear trophy that he so desperately desires. Ultimately, Mbappe will be fine no matter what option he chooses. He is insanely talented and is the new face of football alongside Erling Haaland. But his next move will decide just how highly he is ranked at the end of his career, as the correct move will surely secure the Champions League, the Ballon d'Or and a grand football legacy. One thing is currently certain, Mbappe is a supremely talented forward. But life isn't always kind to supremely talented forwards. To learn about a legendary forward who now works as an Uber driver following his retirement, please click the video on the screen now.